everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Lisa from Potsy Feather, and I'm back today with another 8.5 by 11 scrapbook purses video. Quick warning if you're not into magenta, skip this video. It's gonna be magenta only, very bright pink, because I decided to embrace the color for this layout. So I'm gonna use this magenta background. This is just an American Crafts cardstock. I have the, let me check. The summer collection, so it's from the summer collection. I don't know the exact color, but it's from that collection. And I'm scrapping a picture of some magenta flowers from, I took this photo in Mallorca in the aquarium in Palma. And they're a little park. And yeah, I really like this photo, so I decided to go all out with the magenta. I also am using some uh, this cut file. It's from Paige Evans, I'm pretty sure. And it's like, I don't know what that's called, but it's like the two edges. So I thought I would line them up on the outside of the papers on the opposite sides. And of course I had to color them magenta. So these are some shiny watercolors. Of course I had to use the magenta color, of course, obviously. And yeah, these are, these are shiny watercolors, they're called metallic, Jesus. Anyways, I covered those and then two of those super cute wood flowers. I went through my stash to find all things magenta. I'm gonna use that one paper clip that you can see on the screen, this little flamingo thingy. I brought out some things that were pink or magenta colored. I didn't find all that much, surprisingly. This is a Pebbles collection, last year's summer's collection, last year's summer collection. So I decided to use two flowers from that. Then I found this little hummingbird thing that was on a pink sticker, like this tile sticker. That's what I'm gonna use, I think. I'm not sure. I don't think I use this because of the green, but I could be picking that out again from that Simple Stories collection. I used the Wow. This is an old, um, the, what's that? Doodlebug collection. I used some pink stickers there. And yeah, just went through all of the things, all of the sticker sheets to get out as much magenta as I could and then I grabbed my glue sorry this is off camera but I'm just sticking it down and I'm sorry about my phone and I just put glue on the one side so um, I can have some dimension and this is gonna stick up as I as you can see here I'm just reinforcing some of the areas but I want all of the sprigs and stuff to stick up so I have some dimension, I had to use my my body as a like a little, how you say, like, so it stays down. Oh, oh wait, oh my god. Sometimes words are escaping my head <laughs> or my mind. Then I used some liquid glue to adhere down this wood veneer flower as well. And again, I just cover it with the same watercolor as the cut file, of course, it looks completely different than the cut file, but it is the same watercolor. <clears throat> uh, sorry about my head. And again, sorry about my head. Again, you're gonna see it a couple more times, I think. Just gonna take an educated guess. Or maybe not now. Anyways, um, I love how this layout just sorry this layout this photo is kind of nestled in all of these flowers then here i decided to put the little flamingo just because it's pink not because i needed a paper clip there and i used a lot of glue but i personally don't care if you see glue like no i don't i don't care i know some people don't like are really um worried about that or that it's a thing that they're really aware of. I'm I'm not. I for me it's more important to have it stick um, than seeing the glue because I don't look that closely 
to be honest and if someone says something I honestly I don't I don't care <laughs> but anyways added some white tissue paper on the back of my photo so this kind of stands out more I used a lot of tape here and I also used a lot of um, tissue paper so this really stands out uh, out of all of the magenta because again this is a little magenta did I not stick that down already I thought I did maybe it didn't stick properly but yeah so to all of the little flowers or big flowers I should say I added some embellishments and now I'm you can't see it but I'm using my Tim Holt scissors to cut away the white border of those pebble stickers a tiny bit um, I didn't want too much white I just wanted a little bit less white border so that's what I did there the little hummingbird goes next to that vacation that vacation sticker is from the Dupa collection I don't remember it's it's the like it kind of have to, has ugh, that was not a sentence sorry it has like tiki hats and all of that kind of stuff it's more of a tropical summer collection um, then the other sticker and this is basically all that I could find like of course if I had to look more into my uh, my sorry my stash of course I could find more but these are the things that I found when I just quote-unquote quickly looked and then off camera I went through my um, uh, alphabets and this is like a chipboard sticker uh, no it's not stickers it's just alphabets um, and I there's a fly I'm sorry why is this there I film usually at night so when I have my studio lights on all of the animals come in because I have my windows open and so all of the animals fly in because of the lights um, there is this kind of berry looking flower so I was really excited when the O fit exactly and perfectly over it that made me really happy anyways I was talking about the alphas um, so my title is flower power pretty simple pretty self-explanatory um, and I only chose those alphas because they are magenta and they were pretty much the only ones that I could find that I liked so yeah I have these in a couple of colors and these are like I always have blue ones and white ones gray and black and I have them, them in lowercase and uppercase uh, they're really inexpensive I got them probably off of Amazon or something I don't know but they're like really nice to have I added a sticker from the what's that collection called sunny days collection and then I went through my embellishment jar here it used to be a spice jar for who knows what I honestly don't remember what was in there but I I know I reused it and it holds all of not all of them but some like everything you need um, when it comes to like embellishing is in there <laughs> and I'm just choosing some like those they're really cool they're like iridescent flat back resin hearts and I have them in multiple colors but I'm using the you guessed it magenta ones they're not really magenta they're very some of them are red and I have a dark pink but you know they fit so I sprinkle them all around the layout and I love them I love little like sprinkly bits they really make me happy and as you can see I kind of go overboard and sprinkle them kind of throughout the layout sorry I'm a bit off camera here and the hummingbird gets one I think I had one more and I didn't want to open up the jar again and put it back so I just was like let's put it on so yeah 
that is the sprinkling done sorry about the whole shuffling here but yeah there is my layout up close it's so pink this is something I love monochromatic layouts but usually when I do them they're always like black uh, not black sorry blue because it's my favorite color but because of the color of the flowers I chose magenta for this one and it's really cool to do so yeah I do in the end like how it looks here are some close-up photos for you and yeah I really hope you enjoyed this layout if you liked it please give me a thumbs up please consider subscribing if you haven't already and yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time bye